Hello and welcome to RF Pro 5 minutes tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about transferring virtuoso designs to Keysight ADS, which can be very helpful in many applications, especially if you want to leverage all the ADS flexibility to manage your design and stack up. And also if you are using ADS to perform multi-technology simulation where you might be getting your IC database over to ADS so that you can create a package tie and um, you know SMD components kind of assembly design for full 3D EM simulation. So let's just spend next few minutes in going through this interesting topic. Now before we start, remember one, two, three, subscribe to the channel, enable notification, like and share the video with your friends and colleagues. All right, to illustrate this concept, I have two sample circuits. So let me start with something very simple. And in this case here, I have a spiral inductor, which I also used in the previous videos. Now under RF Pro, you notice I also have a substrate, uh, which I will need in ADS to perform the EM analysis. And that's the LTD file I have here. Now, once you have these two things, that means the design and the stack up, Notice the option here called Send to ADS. Now this is enabled if you have configured somewhat newer releases of ADS on your virtuoso environment. Now here you can define the path where you would like to create the ADS workspace. And here you can provide the workspace name and the library name, what you would like to create in ADS. Now once you are done, if you click OK, and the script inside will launch the ADS from the same directory where you have activated Virtuoso so that all the dependent libraries which you have configured in Virtuoso will also be added to ADS environment. And here you can see I have the workspace created and I have the stack up which I used in my cadence and it created the ADS equivalent substrate file. Now at this point, if you want, you can start modifying this stack up as you need. But in this case, this is the right stack up which we want to use. And here is the inductor layout geometry, which you can open in ADS layout. And it's exactly the same layout, uh, you know, information as you have in Virtuoso. And you can also see all the layer files information, which is available in ADS. Now at this point, you can go ahead and activate RF Pro menu and create a new setup to perform the analysis in ADS as it is or you, if you are working on multi-technology design, you can go ahead and add your laminate library or the package library and do the multi-technology setup as I have explained in one of the previous videos. Now here with this stack up there with the geometry available in RF Pro, rest of the process will remain the same as I have explained in the previous videos. You can create a port because those pins were placed in the virtuoso layout and they are also available along with your geometry. And once you have everything configured, you can go ahead and run EM analysis, either using FEM or momentum based on the structure which you are simulating. Now, once the simulation is finished, you can open up the result. Look at the S parameter response in terms of S11 or S21, as well as you can extract the you know, uh, the component value in terms of inductance or capacitance. So this is pretty straightforward. So let's close this. And now let's move on to another example, which will be a full blown LNA example. Now in this particular case, I have this LNA circuit, which is again designed with GPDK, you know, library. You might be using any specific foundry library. And again, for that um, the structure, I do have uh, the substrate file available. That means the LTD file, which is available. Now here I can again repeat the same options sent to ADS and this time let's give it workspace name as EM underscore LNA and also the library name as EM underscore LNA. Now once we click OK, now the same procedure will um, be done again as I have already explained, but at this time note you are doing a full blown RFIC LNA design. And you can see how seamlessly the database gets transferred from Virtuoso over to ADS. And now you can see the complete LNA design in ADS. Now because this library or this workspace is created from the same location as in your cadence, if you look under library view and look under read only library, you will see all the libraries gets loaded what you have configured in Virtuoso. Now at this point, you can switch on the RF Pro setup 
uh, for the Selenium design. Now, one key thing to note here, if you are going to simulate an active um, circuit in ADS, which you have obtained from Cadence, the PDK has to be at least a schematic interoperable because at the end of the day, we will create a component and we will have few components which are circuit model. For example, let me change the G1 LNA bias, which is going to be my schematic sub-circuit and also the core network, which is going to be my uh, schematic model. Now here, the pins were already available in Virtuoso database. I can use that to create ports in ADS. And these two schematic components, I can go ahead and add it under component model. Now, again, you can go ahead and set your options in terms of frequency sweep, the simulator, and now you can go ahead and run the simulation. After your simulation is you know, completed, you can always generate the sub-circuit. Now, because you are using a PDK, which is coming from Virtuoso, you can see the schematic getting created, but you cannot simulate it as it is unless the PDK component inside these networks, which are using these transistors or resistor capacitor, they need to be able to netlist inside ADS. And that can only happen if your PDK is interoperable. And if it is, then you have everything what you need to perform EM circuit co-simulation or perform a multi-technology schematic assembly level simulation with no extra effort involved. So that's all for this video. I hope the content presented may be useful for your work and you would be able to leverage this great capability for bringing over your database from Virtuoso to ADS for further analysis. Thanks a lot for watching. Wish you all the best in your design work. See you in the next video.